What if I told you that the secret to happiness and success isn't money, fame, or even a perfect life? A pause, a moment to let that sink in, then we journey on. As we navigate through life, we often find ourselves chasing after these elusive concepts of success and happiness. We're told they're found in wealth, in recognition, in a life free of blemishes. But what if I proposed a different perspective? What if I suggested that the key to both lies not in our external circumstances, but within us? Within our ability to choose. It's a radical thought, isn't it? In every moment, in every situation, we have the power to choose our response, our perspective, our belief. We can choose to see the lesson in every negative situation, to trust that our life is unfolding as it should. The power to choose is the most valuable asset we have. And it's this power that can lead us to true happiness and success. Imagine, if you will, a man named John. John, a man of humble beginnings, was no stranger to adversity. From financial struggles that seemed like an endless abyss to personal losses that left his heart heavy, life had thrown him a fair share of curveballs. But here's where John's story deviates from the common narrative. Instead of allowing these hardships to consume him, John chose a different path. He chose to view these difficulties not as setbacks, but as stepping stones, opportunities for growth. John's financial struggles, they taught him the value of money and the importance of financial responsibility. He learned to appreciate the simple joys life had to offer, knowing that happiness cannot be bought. His personal losses, they made him cherish his relationships more, understanding the fleeting nature of life. Now, this doesn't mean John was immune to despair. There were nights when he felt the weight of the world upon his shoulders. But he always reminded himself that the dawn is darkest before the day. He chose to embrace his struggles, knowing they were shaping him into a stronger, better individual. John's life wasn't perfect, far from it, but he found happiness and success in the midst of his chaos. How, you ask? Through the power of choice. He chose to see the silver lining in every cloud, to find the good in every situation. He believed that life was not happening to him, but for him. In every challenge, he saw a lesson. In every setback, he saw an opportunity. And in every moment, he chose positivity over negativity, love over fear, and resilience over surrender. John's story is not about a man with an easy life, but about a man who made a choice. A choice to embrace his journey with all its ups and downs, a choice to grow from his challenges, and most importantly, a choice to be happy. John's story is a testament to the power of choice and how it can shape our lives. John's story illustrates a profound truth. In every perceived negative situation, there's a lesson to be learned. Now let's delve into this idea a bit further. Life as we know it is not a bed of roses. It's a journey filled with ups and downs, twists and turns. Each bend in the road, each stumble, each hurdle, they're not mere obstacles. They serve a higher purpose, a grander design. They are our teachers, our guides, showing us the way. Consider this. When you touch a hot stove, you withdraw your hand instantly, right? The pain, although unpleasant, has taught you a valuable lesson. The stove is hot and touching it can cause harm. This is a simple, everyday example of finding wisdom in discomfort. Now let's take this concept and apply it to our lives. When we encounter a setback, a challenge, a failure, our immediate reaction might be to recoil, to retreat, to feel defeated. But what if, instead of seeing these as negative situations, we looked at them as lessons? Lessons that help us grow, that make us stronger, that guide us on our path to success. Every time we fall, we learn how to pick ourselves up. Every time we fail, we discover a new way not to do things. Every time we face adversity, we develop resilience. These are not just lessons, they're stepping stones to success. You see, success is not a destination. It's a journey, a process. It's about learning, growing, evolving. And this growth, this evolution, it comes from embracing the lessons life throws our way. The setbacks, the failures, the adversities, they're not there to break us, but to shape us, to mold us into the best version of ourselves. So the next time you face a challenge, remember this. It's not an obstacle, it's an opportunity. An opportunity to learn, to grow, to succeed. Our life is a classroom and every situation we face is a teacher. So, what have we learned today? We've embarked on a journey, haven't we? 
A journey that led us to the profound realization that the power of choice is perhaps the most significant tool in our arsenal, capable of shaping our lives in ways we never imagined. We learned that each choice we make, every decision we take, acts as a stepping stone guiding us towards our destiny. We explored the concept that every situation, no matter how bleak it might seem, carries a lesson within its folds. These situations aren't stumbling blocks, but stepping stones guiding us towards our true path. The so-called negative experiences aren't there to hinder us, but to show us the way, to provide us with valuable insights that we wouldn't have gleaned otherwise. When we encounter these situations, it's not a cause for despair, but an opportunity for growth, a chance to learn and to become better versions of ourselves. We delved into the true nature of happiness and success, didn't we? It's not about the material possessions we accumulate or the accolades we receive. It's about being content with ourselves, about finding joy in the simple things, about cherishing the relationships we have and about making a difference in the lives of others. Success isn't measured by the size of our bank accounts, but by the number of lives we touch, the smiles we bring to people's faces, and the positive changes we bring about in the world. We discovered that happiness and success are not external entities, but internal states of being that are entirely within our control. They're not dependent on our circumstances, but on our responses to those circumstances. The key isn't in what happens to us, but in how we react to what happens. So as we wrap up, let's remember this. The key to happiness and success isn't in our circumstances, but in the choices we make. Choose wisely and live well.